Oh. The ones on the trailer. Oh, so we bought our truck before the trailer and then we got our license plates for the trailer like two weeks before we got this for the truck. I wanted to show you guys, I'm doing some light meal prepping for the week. We do need to go to the grocery store. I need to get some more protein. So tofu, I think I'm gonna get some tempeh. I was making some veggies for the week and so I steamed up this big batch of potatoes and broccoli and this broccoli is what we got at the farmer's market yesterday. And the next I'm gonna do some carrots. I'm gonna do some steamed carrots and so far I'm loving this instant pot. You can just throw honestly whatever in and you just press the button that you need and boom it's done. And it took about I'd say about 10 minutes to maybe even less to steam that broccoli and potatoes and it makes the potatoes really soft. I know a lot of people in the fitness industry and bodybuilders like to do pre-portioned meals and if that works for you that's great but I like to change things up so some days I want broccoli some days I don't want broccoli so I don't want to sit and have you know 10 meals throughout the week that have broccoli if I don't want broccoli every day. I'm gonna portion these out. I just want to kind of give that out there to you guys because very into health and fitness and nutrition so prepping is so helpful and key and prepping in an RV is honestly just the same as it is in a home or an apartment. Um, you just have less elbow room to work with so Matt's been outside working on some stuff and I've got the whole little kitchen area to myself so it makes it super easy. So I actually went ahead and made um, lunch for Matt for work during the week but I made him two lunches and this is just some of the potatoes, the broccoli, and then these are these field roast uh, Mexican chipotle sausages which these are new at our store here in San Marcos and I wanted to try them this week and what did you think about them? They're pretty good. Pretty good? Tacos. Yeah, so yeah, you had them. A few other things, the tacos. And then the last bit of meal prep that I'm going to do for the week, I threw in this box of dirty rice dinner mix, pre-seasoned rice, tofurkey andouille sausage. I showed you guys these things in our last grocery haul because they're so delicious and all I did was I added the rice and water to the instant pot along with the sausage that is chopped up and there's two of them in there so Matt will probably get two maybe two meals and a snack out of it. Probably. Hey Blair stick your head out for a second. I'm trying to get there's an ant on our ceiling. There's an ant on our ceiling. Oh hi. <laughs> All right, Do you can want me to spin it? Yeah spin the thing. So we're trying to see what this thing does inside of our I, I don't know what's going on here. All right, maybe someone can tell us Yeah, go ahead and spin it back the other way. What does that thing do inside? Oh. <laughs> you broke it? Huh? Oh. <laughs> and that's all, all the way back over? All right. Just leave it. The whole family. Where's the... We're, we're in the car coming home and we're actually discussing our first trip. So you guys know that we're kind of hesitant when and where to go first because of so many things that we still need. I wanna go somewhere. I wanna just go, I wanna use our toilet in our RV and I wanna, <laughs> this is weird, I wanna That's dump weird. our shit somewhere. <laughs> Yeah. I want that practice. I want to practice dumping out the black water, but I also want to go somewhere for, you know, the purpose of our RV is to go somewhere. We need to practice. Discussing where to go, but then he said... Somewhere. It's all really minor, I guess. I mean, we really could go right now, but... Then let's go! Yeah, I mean, well, there's just a few things that I would like before we set off, and that's, uh, I mean, like, in case of rain, it'd be nice to have a cover. A pop-out cover. Um, that's like an awning pop-out cover. Uh, but we also have a, uh, a need for a truck cover so we can actually take care of, uh, even for the pets, like we need to take their dog food, we need to take uh, the generator just in case, and like uh, there's extra stuff Climbing to take. stuff. Climbing stuff. Yeah. And it puts less Over strain kennel. inside of, it has a kennel. It puts less strain inside of the RV itself or the trailer itself. We're also afraid of the tires a little bit. That's, that's Blair's main thing, probably. And so I still need to check on those. So basically those three things, I mean, if, if we get those, we'll be pretty much set for a while. All the other stuff, it's really minor. I mean, those three things, I'd like to spread out over a period of like two months. It'd be nice. I don't think we can hold ourselves back that long. No, there's no way that I'm gonna wait over two months to not go anywhere. I think we're gonna And I don't go think we're trip. gonna have any of you guys wait along. Yeah. <laughs> 
Next video this coming is, in two months. This is the travel channel. We got the RV to travel. I don't want to, you know, have spent this time downsizing and doing all of this stuff to just stay in one place. That was the point of getting rid of our, our house and our rent in the first place. So this is how we'll do it then. So uh, the next trip will be something small, just for fun, over a weekend. Uh, we'll start looking at that now. Fun. Why are you making that face? I'm excited. Is that, is that what that face is? I'm excited. I thought you had to use our RV bathroom for a second there. I can't. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't tell what that face was. Oh. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that in the next two or three weeks. But we do have to look at the weather. So if the weather's God. bad, which is this week, it's bad. Guess what? It's supposed to flood again tonight. You know how we told you guys that it always rains when we move? Basically our town was underwater today. Of course the day that this happens, I decided to leave my camera here. He was at a meeting, I was at the gym. Flash flood hit so fast. Our whole town of San Marcos was like underwater. Again. Everything was closed again. It was pretty bad today and we're supposed to be getting more rain. The trailer little pop-out area is still leaking but we have towels there that's just a standard thing is we have a towel like we had said pop-out cover is one thing that we need we just don't have money for right now so that was an interesting day today and then all the meanwhile we had t taken the dogs to the office yeah you guys will see some of the stuff in the story it's supposed to rain again so i don't know i might be updating you guys again as we're floating away in our little home <laughs> we will see i'm gonna insert this clips from instagram right here Other than the gym. I don't know. I, the dogs are at the office. We, we can't get home. And we don't know how to get to the dogs because everything in town is flooded. It's a nightmare. It's not bad right now. All right, so they're, they're getting through. No joke, guys. Every single road downtown is closed. Cars are underwater. Um, I just saw like 10 emergency vehicles, two with a boat, pass by the gym. So I had to go all the way to Posey, uh, and then do the turnaround on Posey, and then go down, or up center point, and then... I don't know if I can do that. Man, there's a lot of disabled cars, and cops are just passing disabled cars. Yeah, just because I guess there's some... <laughs> there was not water here before. There really wasn't. That all came today. Driving right by it. Guys, I don't know if you can see that rushing water. That's up to the road. This is a, oh my gosh, it's that's so, so bad. bad. Holy shit. That is, that is on, that's, there you go. Very update. Why are you walking over there? Yeah. What? Wait a, wait a minute. Seriously, hold on. That looks like me. You guys, that looks like me. She's got the red hair paint on and everything. Anyway, what I was saying is we're here getting some snacks and stuff, um, so we can, just in case we get flooded into the office, we're going to have necessities <laughs> so we can survive the night. Okay, we were able to get to the office. We're about to go in to get the dogs, and then we have to get home because there's a lull in the rain right now, but it's supposed to pick up again very soon, um, and everything's supposed to flood again, so we might be home for the next, like, week. Come on. Come on, Buzz. Let's go home before it floods again. stuff so we are almost home and we're gonna see how bad our trailer leak is we had towels down so hopefully it's third week third storm right Something seriously like yeah the last three weeks we've had flood warnings and this one's like four days long or something i don't know either way um so once we get that figured out once we, we can understand just escape the weather we did go pretty far away and pretty fast because yeah. it's coming in 
like an hour. An hour, it's coming now. But we'll figure out some good weekends. We'll go for a small trip somewhere, we'll make sure the hookups are all there so we can actually practice. So this weekend is Easter and rainy. What about next weekend? 23rd. Let's look at everything, make sure there's nothing going on, and uh, sure. All right, guys. But that might be our first RV trip. Like you said, it's gonna be a small trip, but it's gonna be something. Something for us to try out, to dump our black water, and practice driving. Get out of this little, this little nooky nook. That's weird. The nooky nook. <laughs> the nooky nook. This is our little nooky nook, guys. Uh. <laughs> There's the wild burgundy coming out of her lair. Are we done talking about our, our trips? Are we? No, I think I can keep going. So yeah, the first trip will probably be some kind of campsite nearby. Something within two hours. Mm -hmm. Not far. The second trip is gonna be probably the same distance, but for a different reason. San Antonio? Probably San Antonio, more so sales for me. Uh, so I'm actually gonna start trying out that portion of it. If everything goes well there, um, then we start planning out the big trip, which we're about six months out from the big trip. <sighs> So, two weeks from now. I don't think you know what's coming. You're coming. <laughs> yeah, two weeks from now we'll do camping trip. Six weeks from now we'll do San Antonio. Do some other small trips in between there and the big trip. So maybe you get some suggestions. Here in Texas? Here in Texas. Close by. So, you guys, we live in like central Texas, the Austin area. Um, so if any of you RVers know about some cool places to go to um and of course we want hookups we full want, hookups yeah we want all hookups um so if y'all know of any places within a few hours of the austin area please leave that in the comments below because that would be awesome if y'all want to meet us there we can talk about that why not yeah as long as you're not weirdos please yeah please, please don't, don't kill us please don't show That's up all we ask. weird like at least let us get an, a year in our rv before we're kidnapped or something yeah that'd be nice oh that took a turn <laughs> I just want to thank everybody for coming along. It's been really, really exciting for us to see the channel growing and see all of the comments, all of the engagement in the comments. That's really cool and encouraging and exciting because I know that we're not alone in our RV journeys and our RV struggles. Mm. Pretty much every issue that we've mentioned, somebody knows about it and that's so awesome. We appreciate the feedback and you guys' comments and your help and your advice and your tips. So keep that coming. And if you see us doing something wrong, definitely point that out. Constructive criticism, I think, yeah. is the term we're looking for. We're going to go eat dinner. We will see you guys in the next clip, whatever that clip may be. Kitty. Kitty. That's me. Kitty. Get out of here. This is actually how I drive. I don't even touch the pedals. She actually just does it all. <laughs> she does it for you. <laughs> <laughs>